shakalaka. What's up, figure maniacs? Thank you for stopping by once again today. Today's video, I'm giving you guys a tutorial on how you guys can make an ocean diorama for your SH Monster Arts figures or your Pacific Rim NECA figures. Okay, now before uh, we get into it, for all you youngsters out there, uh, I want to give you guys a little bit of a heads up. Uh, there is a little bit of cutting involved with an X-Acto knife. Uh, you guys are going to be using uh, hot glue. Okay, so I advise for you young kids out there who are watching this video, uh, please ask your parents to help you with that. Don't do that by yourself. Okay, now this tutorial is uh, is suitable for people of all skills okay it doesn't require a high degree of skill to make the uh, what you're about to see okay guys so without further ado let's get right into it and I'm gonna take you step by step on how I made this to start off the tutorial okay as you can see uh, prior to recording I've already uh, painted my base okay and I used a uh, navy blue acrylic paint okay and then after it uh, it dried then I uh, I spray painted uh, this uh, it's basically a paint protection like you spray paint it on it'll keep the paint on the on the surface longer okay so the the kind of base that this is is a uh, is a really thin styrofoam. Okay, now you don't have to use this kind of styrofoam. You can use thicker styrofoam. You can even use uh, cardboard. Okay, now if you notice, I, I have a, a hole cut out in the center, because um, for my idea for the uh, for the toy photography or the picture that I uh, that I photographed earlier. Uh, this is what I had in mind for my Godzilla. So I cut a hole uh, big enough for him to be placed here. Okay, so um, that's really at your discretion of what you guys want to do, uh, how big you want it. Okay, and um, you you might not even have to have to cut a hole, depending on uh, what kind of shot you're looking to get. Okay, so but for me, uh, it was necessary for me to do this. Okay. All right, so now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to cover my base with a blue cellophane paper, okay? All right, so this is the, the cellophane that I used uh, in, the, in the photo that you guys saw on, uh, on Facebook and on my Instagram. Okay, so um, I recommend you uh, painting the, uh, the base because just if you keep it white, I mean, just for display purposes, it won't look all that great, okay? So it's better if you just, uh, if you paint it, okay? Now, it doesn't have to be this kind of, uh, this kind of color. I mean, you can use a greenish, uh, color. I mean, depending, because, you know, uh, you know, the, the ocean's filled with, you know, different colors, you know, different, different types of blue and green sometimes, too, depending on where you are in the world. Okay, so uh, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to uh, put the cellophane on the base itself. Okay, guys, so now I have now cut out the, the cellophane to the size that I want for my base. Now, the next thing uh, is to take your cellophane and just crumple it all up. Okay, and then once you do that, you're going to open it back up. Okay, now the reason why you want to crumple it up is because when you take photos with it, like in my case, uh, all the crumples and everything in the cellophane, uh, it makes it look very randomly. So like it, when you take photos of it, like if you notice in my Godzilla uh, 2014 uh, picture. Um, it made the it made it gave the illusion like the the water's randomness. Okay, so that's why uh, you would want to do this. It's also for display too. It, um, it would look pretty nice. So I did it one more time. Okay. All right. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to cut uh, the this part over here to accommodate my uh, my figure okay so I'm gonna use an exacto knife for that okay so uh, 
Yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so now I've cut out the, my cellophane, I've cut out the hole and everything. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to tape it down. Now, I'm not going to tape it down in such a way that like the, the cellophane is like is, is tight on the surface. I want to be kept a little bit loose so um, you know if you could just pu you know pull bits and pieces here and there to assimilate waves okay so that's what I'm gonna do right now. Okay I finished uh, taping the cellophane onto my base okay and uh, it's looking pretty good. I like uh, I like what I have so far. All right, now the next thing is uh, I'm going to make uh, water splashes. Okay, now if you've seen my photo, um, let me just show you very quickly what I did. Okay, so there was my Godzilla. Let me just move the camera up a little. All right, so there's my Godzilla, and then I had like these little modeled uh, these little model ships all right and I placed them up on here and then I used cotton to uh, to assimilate to give uh, those water splash effects okay but um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create actual uh, splash effects using a hot glue gun okay so that's what I'm gonna do next okay what you're seeing here is a rough outline of uh, my ships uh, Godzilla's footprints and over here on the next page uh, the whole of my of my base okay so what I'm gonna do with a hot glue gun is I'm going to build the water effects uh, around this particular outline okay so here I got the here's the outline for my ships okay and um, you guys will see what I what I what I'm gonna do next. Okay, so, uh, how to make uh, these these effects. All right, so that's in the next part coming up right now. All right, so I'm gonna start off making the splash effect uh, for my Godzilla. Okay, so you can see I traced out my outline here, and then I am gonna grab this. Uh, this uh, this piece of glass okay so basically what this is this is from my IKEA uh, display cabinet okay but you can grab um, uh, picture frames you know like if, you know uh, if you have one of those uh, picture frames you know it's got the piece of glass or even the plastic it'll work fine okay because um, the hot glue won't uh, won't won't stay permanently on this so you so I'm using the glass I'm gonna apply the uh, the hot glue around this outline I'm gonna build it up to like to I like get like a really nice uh, splash effect and then I will peel it off afterwards okay so that's how I'm gonna create that okay so here I go about covers everything guys thank you so much for watching now in closing out this video I'm gonna give you guys a little behind the scenes uh, of my toy photography and I'm gonna show you guys some of the images that I've been working on to create this uh, tutorial okay guys thank you very much again for watching take care guys and I'll see you guys next time bye bye